So this next lesson is going to be in creating a template. It's just a simple matter of tracing the pre-made template that you already have so that you are allowed to have a front and the back of a design. So obviously, again, we have the lines of symmetry. We have that line going straight down and we have the line going straight down here. And this allows us to make sure that again, we have even spaces in between and it allows us to evenly trace the fashion figure. So what I'll just go through here is just to show you how to lightly go over the pre-made design. And what are the purpose of templates? Well, again, like we covered in the nine hench join, the purpose of templates is so that when you are going in and you are going to sketch a particular design, you don't have to first whittle through the process of creating a figure. Like your personal use and you don't mind having the same stance and the same shape, then I say go for it. Just use this template for everything. But if you're creating a portfolio for perhaps school, you'll want to have as many poses as possible as we'll cover when we cover movement. You want to make sure you have as many poses as you can possibly get so that your portfolio has a, a good variety and it shows your skill set. So this is just a basic template front view. And from here, I can go in now and add in different kinds of designs to my garment. So when we're going in and we're gonna do the dress illustration, instead of me having to say, okay, I need to draw this whole thing first and then go back and erase lines just for me to go ahead and do my dress, you have this very naked template that you can use and it's a lot easier to sort of like erase lines as you're going about creating your dress but while still using some of the more definitive lines and then you do the same thing for the back and as you can see here again if I lift the paper a little bit I gotta fill in her hand but as you can see it's just a basic outline and that took far less time than it would have pro probably taken me to sit down and, and freehand draw this illustration. So templates, I would say, create them for yourselves. They're a great way for you to um, illustrate your designs. Now you can use my basic template or you can do something that is more personal to yourself. So for example, this is great if you are considering a career in fashion design and you wanna have a variety of shapes and silhouettes for your fashion figure. But if you're sewing for personal uses and you just wanna make sure your design is the same because it's for your body shape, then I'm gonna show you how to create your own personal template for a croquis for yourself that you can use over and over and over for your personal designs. So let's say for example, you are creating clothes for yourself. The purpose of you learning about fashion design is for you to have personal pieces that you can wear for yourself, dresses that you can wear, and they adhere to your body type. The best way to do that is you're going to first take a picture of yourself full body in uh, a close fitting piece of clothing. So I would say a leotard or something very close fitting. Then you're going to make sure you have a picture taken of your full front and your full back. You go and you have that picture printed, just like normal paper. Don't do photo paper because it's gonna be very hard to trace. And make sure you have a front and a back of that. So essentially, I'm gonna be using this magazine cutout that I got to give you an idea of what that looks like. So we just have a basic shape. Although their clothes are not close fitted, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I was saying. So this would be your picture of yourself, a front and a back. And you would take a piece of tracing paper and place it over your photo. Again, use regular paper. Don't use photo paper. Obviously, if it has any sort of shine or gloss surf surface to it, um, more than a magazine is gonna be much more difficult. The paper is the easiest way and make sure it's colored print so that you are able to see it more easily. And you can use this as a template for your own personal 
croaky that you made that fits your body type exactly. And that way, as you're sketching your dresses in the future, they're not just to some elongated, exaggerated body type. They are for your body type. So I definitely recommend this if you are someone who's just looking to elevate your dressmaking skills for your own personal use and you want to make sure that everything is adhered to your personal desire of what you want a dress to look like and not something that's formatted on a on a less a realistic figure or elongated fashion figure so this is just another option for you or you can learn both and just have both um, techniques accessible to you so i'm just basically going to use a standard tracing paper i'm going to place it over the photo and you're just doing an outline and similar to what you would do when you're using a template is you're taking that photo and allowing it to give you a realistic body type or your own body type so that you can complete your illustration. And it doesn't have to be detailed inside, right? Because remember we said we're going to add the details later. So the details are not for now, the details are for later. So Draw out on this template that isn't your body shape and maybe that also affects the way the garment looks on you because in your brain, in your head, you have a different idea of what it'll look like. So if you're creating personal templates for yourself for you to create designs for your own wardrobe, I would definitely use this technique of taking a picture of yourself in a leotard, front and back, printing out that picture in color and then taking tracing paper and tracing over that and creating a template of that for yourself that you can use over and over. And in order to finish the template, you can either use a computer program and scan it or an actual scanner and then reprint it out so that it's nice and black and white and, and rich. And that way you can use that over and over and over as we did with the previous template to just trace over that body shape and then you can begin your sketches. So this is another helpful way to create a personal template for yourself in addition to the templates that I sh I've shown you where we use the fashion croquis, the elongated fashion illustrations. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more.